I'm ready, ready as anybody can be. I'm ready for you. I hope you're ready for me. You know, this is my show, man. This is, we're ready. Woo, we're ready. As, we got extra seats. Don't get me wrong. After six multi-platinum albums, seven top 40 hits, several pairs of assless pants, an ocean of Aquanet, and enough Jack Daniels to paralyze a herd of elephants, the David Lee Roth Van Halen dynasty came to an end in 1985. <laughs> While the band got to work on a new album with new frontman Sammy Hagar, Dave kicked his bombastic solo career into high gear. Give me a bottle of anything and a glazed donut to go. go. The first thing and the last thing and the only thing that was always and is on my mind is I'm gonna make a rock and roll band. We got into the studio pretty soon when I got together with Stevie Vai, you know, Billy Sheehan and Greg, and uh, that's what we're doing right here, man. Eat them and smile time. I wanted to be legitimate with the band. I wanted to be honest with my music. I wanted to go on the road for a long period of time. And I didn't want to do just two months on the road with uh, giant stadiums, charge everybody, same person who sits in the 900th seat, pays as much as a cat in the front row seat. That's not good for my kind of show. I don't play games so much with being on. I think that the music and what it means to people is way too important to take dead serious. Right yeah. I always told you with, with Van Halen that we're the people's band, that we, we were for the people. Well, I guess I still am. I don't mean to put a certain person down, but it's like there's no more no more limits, no more governor, you know. It's like just we can do anything we want. And I think the music's better too. Uh, I think my writing's gotten a lot better because I'm not under the pressure of can I do this? Can I can you please can, I can do anything I want now. Fifty One Fifty being our first album that we that we basically did completely by ourselves, and it going number one, of course, is a, an incredible feeling. You know, very satisfying. <laughs> the chemistry is incredible. For us. I mean, it's what incredible. We, we got it. <laughs> Sammy on the mic, Van Halen was bigger than ever. But suddenly, in 1996, the Hagar bubble burst. I was called by Eddie on Father's Day morning. He just called up and says, uh, we gotta talk, we gotta talk. And Eddie just goes, you know, you really frustrate me, you never do anything I asked you to do. And he goes, and, and you've always been a solo artist anyway, you might as well just go back to being a solo artist. Quote, unquote, exactly that. And I went, wow. I mean, I was floored. <laughs> well, 
bottom line is work ethic sucked. He went home and didn't want to play the way the rest of the team wanted to play. I'm not a doctor, <laughs> but he put out a press release saying, I quit. A week later, he says, I kicked him out. Now, you taking the bull story, Sam? I'll take a lie detector test. I'm serious. I'm Kurt Loder with MTV News. This just in, Sammy Hagar is out as lead singer of Van Halen, and David Lee Roth, the man Hagar replaced in the group a decade ago, will apparently now be replacing him. Come on, baby, finish what you started. I definitely felt betrayed by them. The betrayal to me, not breaking up, it was them getting Roth back behind the back. Ed and Al and Mike hated that guy so bad. If you even brought his name up, these guys jumped up and went crazy. Oh, it's, you know. I was in that band for 11 years. They were the best in it. Period. Having now officially survived their own rock and roll version of the Dick York, Dick Sargent debacle, it's Van Halen. September 4th, 1996. After recording two songs together for Best of Volume 1, Dave joins Van Halen on stage at the MTV Video Music Awards. We have to address this subject here. This is the first time that we've actually stood on stage together in over a decade. He's on stage antics, which for one I thought was embarrassing. And I said, December 16th, I needed him help, okay? But as some days, vibe changed. I had to go to him and go, Dave, what's the matter? What happened? So, you know, you're just all happy and stuff, and now you're like, pissed off and you know, whatever. I go, he goes, well, hey, tonight's about me, man. I go, yeah. Tonight's about me. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, from the bottom of my heart, really wanted to believe that he was a different guy and and just normal. And I tried really hard to be his friend, and I never lied to him about anything. You know, I don't know what kind of drugs he was on or what the hell was going on in his mind. For us to go back with Dave, with you going back, that's not growth. I think what's more important, or as important to remember, is that the fact that the 1984 Dave is a lot different than the 1996 day. And to have gone on tour with him would have not only embarrassed the band, it would have it would insulted, have been it would have insulted the fact it would have insulted the audience. If we would have started in Toledo, we would have never even made it to Cleveland. You know how when I left, he came back in, but that was all just a hoax. That was just a big promotion for the greatest hits record, the Van Halen guys and, the, and that crooked manager they had. Uh, we're just trying to pull a coup on the fans, which backfired on them. Before the dust had a chance to settle on the Dave reunion fiasco, the Van Halen boys dropped another bomb. I'm Kurt Loder with an MTV News Brief. Although Van Halen management continues to be coy about confirming the rumor that Gary Sharon, former frontman for the Boston band Extreme, has been hired and is already rehearsing as Van Halen's new lead singer, over the weekend, guitarist Eddie Van Halen acknowledged that Sharon is, quote, 99.999% certain to have that job. It wasn't, uh, it was a strange excitement. It wasn't like, all right, we got a singer. It was like, I don't know, just on a much deeper level. It was like a musical soulmate. record bombed and and uh, and Gary wanted to do it different he didn't want to be Eddie's puppet and Eddie you know threw him out up next Sammy's boozy new hobby Dave's bizarre home videos 
planned the most inconceivable tour of the century. Sammy and I are like fraternity brothers who've been through the same behazing. Coming up on the Sammy and Dave Show, life after Van Halen. Show tomorrow.